Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. And today we are gonna make a delicious dried fruit and wild rice stuffing for the holidays. It looks just delicious. You know, I was going through some books of old things we had around here and I found this cookbook that was my mom's. It is a Southern Living Christmas cookbook. Oh my goodness, I read the whole thing last night, cover to cover, because that's what I do for fun. And there are some amazing things in here that we are gonna bring to life here during this holiday season, starting with this delicious stuffing. It just looked great. So we are gonna start with one pound of Jimmy Dean hot. That's just what this family likes. You can use whatever you like, maple, sage, sausage, whatever you like. So we're gonna start by frying this up, get it in, in the pan. I've got my pan preheated there. Throw that in there. And we are gonna start getting this browned up. get that started and while that's frying you can see I took the ciabatta bread um, I just bought rolls that's what they had and cut them up but if you have a whole one but this is chia, ciabatta so it's real holy and gets real nice and dry and I toasted it for about 15 20 minutes till it's nice and hard and crumbly and uh, this is gonna be our bread for the stuffing yum it's gonna be delicious Okay, so now we've got our pound of sausage here all nice and browned up. I'm going to put it here on this plate with a couple paper towels here just to drain real quick. And then we are going to go right back at this. I'm going to put a little bit of butter because we are going to saute the celery and the onion. So I'm going to put a little bit of butter in here with the, with the sausage grease. And throw in, I've got um, four ribs of celery. I cut them in half and then chopped them up. And then I have about a medium to a large size onion diced small. So that's going in here to get, to get nice and softened up. That'll take a couple of minutes. And we'll get, what is your favorite holiday stuffing? I know my mom always made the traditional with the onion and the celery and raisins. And I always loved the raisins that were in the celery. She put walnuts in it, it was so good. But I don't, any kind of stuffing I think I love. Um, we had a Christmas one year that a friend made chestnut stuffing and it was so delicious. They had to order the chestnuts online, but boy was it delicious. So anyway, love stuffing. But I read this recipe and thought, oh my goodness, we definitely have to try that one. It just looked delicious. So we're giving it a whirl here. Now the wild rice, I would have bought the package of the wild rice, but they didn't actually have it, the boxes, and prepare it ahead of time. They didn't have it. So I just bought this kind that was pre-done. It was already made, just nuked it a, a little bit in the microwave. Now if I had made it myself with the box of mix of the wild rice, I would have undercooked it a little bit because it's gonna get cooked again in the oven. So I would have undercooked it for this recipe, but because I'm using what they had at the store, it is a little, it's cooked like ready to eat. And I would have made it a little undercooked if I was making it. So if you wanna see here, we're just sauteing away onion and celery. Get it softened up. Boy, it sure does smell good in here with that Jimmy Dean and the celery and the onion. What do you think there, director? It does. Yes, so here we have about three quarters of a cup of cherries, dried cherries, and then about a cup of chopped uh, dried apricots. Yum! And then I have fresh chicken stock here because I actually made chicken stock a couple days ago, so I have it fresh and ready to go. And some Italian parsley chopped, and that is what's going into our deliciousness here with our um, wild rice and the ciabatta bread and our sausage and the celery and the onion. Yum and easy. Make this ahead of time, no problem. I'm actually gonna put this in a foil pan and freeze it. We're gonna eat some for dinner tonight with a pork loin, but we are gonna freeze it for the holidays or another meal, because I don't need a bunch of stuffing tonight, but just had to try this. This recipe just looked so good. So we are trying it. So I'm gonna get this 
onion sauteed up because nobody likes to get a big old bite of onion. No. You can see on the sausage that I didn't really break it up too much into little tiny shreds because I like you to actually bite into the sausage when you're eating the, the uh, stuffing that it's just not all just crumbly and in, in there. I like there to be some kind of a size, like meaningful bite into the sausage. So I didn't break it up too, too small. So that is gonna be ready to go. And this is getting there. Use another, a clean one, because I used the, that one on the pork. So we'll use this one. Coming along. I'm going to let it go a, a little bit because I don't want anyone to get a mouthful of raw onion. <laughs> so this cookbook, I can't wait. We're going to try a few things right out of the gate. I just loved it. We're going to make all kinds of yummy holiday things because the holidays are here. If you have any questions about the holidays, recipes, um, table setting, anything that you have questions about, timeline, go ahead and let me know and comment and I'll be happy to help you plan your holiday festivities. Because one way to make them less stressful is to have a plan. <laughs> and definitely to make some things ahead, as many things as you can make ahead. I always recommend that you do it like we're doing right now, making it ahead. Turn that down and let this cool off a little bit before I do our assembly here. So I am going to start with our bread. Like I said, I cut the ciabatta, again, not too small, because again, you want to bite into something when, when you bite into your stuffing. So I've got about six cups here. This was about mm, five, I think, ciabatta sandwich rolls is what I used. And then I'm going to put in here our onion and celery. Put that in. Looks delicious, smells delicious. And then in goes our sausage. Yum, see, drained it a little bit. Always good. And then I have our wild rice going in. So this is gonna be so delicious. And then we have our apricots and the dried cherries, oh my gosh, yum. Some fresh parsley for a little bit of green in there. And then I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, look at how yummy this looks. Oh yes, delish. Give that a little bit of a stir. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper and salt and the chicken stock. Oh, it smells delicious. Just like I'm reading this recipe last night, I'm like, oh, yum. It's going to be delicious, and it is. I can smell it already. It smells delicious. So easy. I'm not going to put too much salt because the, I know the rice has salt and the sausage has salt, so I don't want to put too much salt. I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. Of course, I have homemade stock, so we're going to put some of this in there. If I can get the lid off, we'll put some in there. So here we go. I'm gonna put oh, about half of this and then see how it how it mixes up. Maybe put a little more. But oh my gosh, look how delicious this stuffing looks. Oh, yum. Like I said, I always love the raisins when you're eating your stuffing. So you'd be I'd be digging for raisins. So this one, you're gonna be digging for cherries. <laughs> but it looks so good. And I wanna make sure that everything gets nice and softened. I think we're gonna need some more chicken stock. You want it to be not soaking wet because you don't wanna have sloppy stuffing, but you definitely want it to be, you know, moistened. And I don't think I'm gonna give this another little hit of stock. Oh my gosh, look at the colors. We've got the color of the celery and the apricot and the cherries and it just looks delicious so here we go put a little bit more stock in here my this stock had a lot of flavor 
when I made it, so it's going to be really good. I had some fresh dill and all kinds of things that were in when I was making the stock. So homemade stock is always delicious, but oh my gosh, this is going to be so delish. So get this mixed up and you can see, so I want to make sure that everybody gets a bite of everything when I get it in the pan here, because this just looks killer. Okay, check that out. Yum. No, it looks great, smells great. And I'm gonna put, fill one of these pans here. I might fill two pans, wasn't sure how much room we were gonna need, but we will see. So I'm getting it kinda everywhere, but oh my gosh. Let's put some in a pan here. Like I said, I'm gonna freeze it once it cools down a little bit. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And we are going to have plenty. So I've got another pan here ready to go. Just enough. I'm going to put some. I'm going to make a little bit just for us for dinner. And I'll make another pan here of the rest of this. So this recipe would make one normal large 13 by 9 casserole dish. And I'm breaking it up, number one, so it'll fit in the freezer and I can use it or give it away in a little smaller portions. So there we go. There we have it. The fruit wild rice stuffing ready to go for the holidays. I mean, yummy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a bunch more holiday recipes.